Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. This tutorial was already in my Hero Quest Resurrection series playlist. It was a tutorial with uh, no audio commentary and with uh, a mediocre quality. So it seemed like uh, a nice thing to bring it back to you, but better in all its glory. First of all, creating elements of this type for your dungeon can be very simple. HeroQuest made them with cardboard and uh, they work great. Why then do all this for such a simple piece? The answer is very simple, because the search for a job with your hands, attention to detail and realism are part of the true essence of our hobby. It's so much fun! A design of this type lends itself very well to mass production. These are small pieces, so you can indulge yourself from the first attempt with multiple pieces. I started with a piece of graphics medium chipboard, divided it with a 1 inch grid and cut out 1, 2 and 4 inch pieces. At this point we think about what we are creating. In my imagination these piles of rock have fallen from the ceiling of my dungeon. We must therefore create a heterogeneous accumulation of construction materials, bricks, rocks, pieces of wooden beams. We use XPS foam by roughly cutting the various pieces. It is not important that all the pieces have the same size, as a certain degree of heterogeneity will only increase the realism. Once we have a good texture on the bricks and wood, we can glue the various pieces. I use a few drops of hot glue, so the work proceeds very quickly. We try to position the pieces with a likely inclination, so that the various layers are created one on the top of the other in a natural way. Once we are satisfied with the shape of the pile, we can proceed to improve the overall structure with the details. First of all, I use PVA glue to insert smaller rocks, in this case real rocks. These, in addition to improving the overall appearance, also provide extra weight to the piece. Once this phase is complete, I use fine sand to complete the whole thing. Now we can make these pieces more fun, thanks to some more details. We add skulls here and there, and I go even further, inserting the arm of a miniature to simulate a person crushed by the collapse of the rubble. The mix of acrylic black paint and mod podge serves to give a good priming of black and to make the piece really resistant.
color in these pieces can be really basic but why limit yourself to that i want to give these rocks a really cool look so i won't be shy and i will use a lot of different techniques Most of the paint is given with a wet brush, without waiting for the layers to dry. After the last details, the color that really makes the difference is warm grey. A dry brush with this color creates uniformity to the whole piece, parts in rock, wood and everything else. A simple construction that will make your dungeon awesome. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Till next time. Happy crafting!